Hello viewers, me and team here, welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 5. In the last part we took care of the fourth campaign, the Archipelago, for the Elves. Rather anticlimactic fights. Well, the first Demon Lord was kinda of, sorta of challenging. But now we are on to yet another one of the fun ones in the game. The Vampire Lord. Let's explore, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Arlon is threatened by the Vampire Lord Nikolai. Well, there you go, you gotta fight the new undead king that Mark Hall so generously gave to the world, who is somehow eternally damned by that, even though he had no personal responsibility or control over what occurred. Or if he did have responsibility, he would have been burying it already when he was killed the first time. <laughs> anyway, we have a couple options here. And for a change, it's actually enticing. Green Dragon could easily get killed off early on. And certainly, having gold up front is helpful. I... Hmm. See, depending on what le level the town starts at, up front gold might be better than the city hall. For example, but if the s town starts at a low level, then the city hall is better than the gold, because by the time we could have reaped benefit from the upfront gold building up the town, well, city hall would have probably given us just as much. <laughs> as long as we can build anything at all that's of direct use, then the city hall would be better in the long run, because we would be getting more gold from it. Well, yeah, it depends how quickly we build it up, basically, and how quickly we can get gold from other sources, whether or not that's better. But it does have the advantage of raising our town level by one, and that unto itself can be helpful, depending on what we cover. And green dragons, once again, I think the utility of a green dragon at the start of the game is somewhat contingent on what your current starting forces are. However, since I prefer to rush on maps, I'm going to go for this. Let's hope it works out. I got unicorns and master hunters standing near you. Does that mean I get access to them in game? Nikolai, a noble king and ally is my greatest foe. Though the darkened skies chill my heart and strain my eyes, I will not be stopped. Well, there you go. And indeed, it is now the week of the hamster. <laughs> That's threatening. So what kind of forces do we have? Okay, so the dragon is actually useful. And man, I start fully decked out with all three war machines. That's nice. Um, yeah, no artifacts. Still don't have Reign of Arrows, and I'm in the fifth freaking mission, but, you know. <laughs> I'll just make do. And I seem to have two towns. Oh, and we also have Durail and Talinar. Eleanor, do you have... He does not have expert war machines, but he has the Ballista. Uh, he's really straight might. What is his army? Sprites? Kinda limited. And you're even weaker in army, but not materially so. She has good magic, though. And uh, enough spell schools to actually make use of it. Both of these guys have Town Portal. I would imagine all three of them need to survive, but I could be wrong. I don't know, just Finden. That's actually very useful because these elves, uh, elf heroes, could really cause problems um, with hit and runs and aggressive tactics. Destroy Nikolai the Vampire Lord. Okay. The real question is where I go to attack, honestly. I feel like these. <laughs> Guards are somewhat pathetic. Let's see what kind of towns we have. Oh. Yeah, so... A lump sum gold is better than City Hall, basically. Because <laughs> you can just build a City Hall right away. If I do that, I'll use up all my money. But we're going to do it anyway. In both towns, if they allow it. Nope. Wait, I actually have troops in the second town? 
Yeah, I do. And I can summon a little bit more. Alright, so we'll start with him. 650 of those. And then two a monolith. That's probably the route I'm supposed to take to launch my offensive. Unpredictable courage. They'll fight. I think most of this stuff will fight me in my current state. But yeah, take a step back. Gather your troops. Although I might want to ultimately give the hunters to Finden. And let's start trying to grab mines. Footmen, huh? <laughs> it may, this might be one of those things where I need to just torch the countryside. I have powerful heroes, they're high level. And I think it's expected. Oh, that's right, I have nature's luck. I don't want to take on shooters with him, but any mines I can get, including that gold mine, will be a priority. Actually, that gold mine... Grim Raiders... I feel like 67 is going to be a little tough. A little tough. Well, <laughs> let's, uh... Let's take out the footman first. We're just gonna do some hit and runs here. Oy. And I think we're just gonna work straight. Yeah, we'll just go like this. Oh wow, that hurts. <laughs> Yeah, his spells are kind of paltry and unimpressive. Even stone spikes doesn't hurt a lot, so we're just going to attack. And they can't reach me yet. In fact, none of them can, so I'm just going to let them go another round. <laughs> Pretty nasty. Uh-oh. Well, I can't really... I need the, those guys to commit to moving, though. And I do get another move before the 33 guys move, so I'm just gonna smack them one and get away. Oh, no, I don't, actually. That's a mistake. Let's not suicide right away. <laughs> Please. Please. Okay. So, I guess work on them. Yeah, these guys aren't going to be able to do anything to me now. Just get away. Shoot. And yet they are still just not fast enough. So that's handy at least. Oh goody, I get to hit them and run away. Or maybe it's not necessary to run away. I don't know if that's factoring the lucky hit. I really should have been paying attention this whole time, but I wasn't, so... We'll just let them commit to moving, and then slaughter them one. Or actually... No, they'll kill me if I do that, so... I'm just gonna go up here. Now that's just unpleasant. I really wish they would stop it, because it's making the battle slower. But we'll get rid of one stack right now. I need to get rid of those Grim Raiders. Yeah, this is fine. We are going to be wood-starved. We are almost always going to be wood-starved. Really not much disincentive to picking that up. Oh, the zombies are guarding hunters' cabins. Well, 
once again, <laughs> I'm going to save so I don't lose progress. Because this is going to take a little bit, set up on this map. And yet, you don't want to take this map lightly. Because you can uh, very easily... Well, you'll see. This is considered one of the hard maps of the game, to put it mildly. Although, unless I'm, my read-on is off, this is no Warlock 3. And we have approaches that we might be able to make use of. Well, they can't reach me, so I just attack. The zombies are so slow. And thankfully, I don't even have to worry about morale in this case. Okay, let's get some hits on them. Ooh, I even get to go before the 143 of them. That's pretty handy. Means I can smack them one and get away. At least, uh, I hope I did that correctly. Whew, okay. Maybe I should pay a bit more attention to what I'm doing. Pfft, nah. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Yeah, that's fine. And I can still get away. Good, good. Well, I could anyway, because the guys with 56 in the stack are going to move behind the rest. So, unfortunately now, I think I just have to run. I can't get a hit in with my pixies, at least. Or sprites. Um... Yeah, I think I better let them move. Oh, that is terrific, though. That'll shave some time off this. If only I could just keep hitting him. And let's actually move a little bit further away, because part of the reason they can't move there is that I'm blocking them, so... Oh, that is ideal. <laughs> Ownage! Okay. And I would imagine one of them will move closer. Let's just go here. That's fine. Nature's luck is pretty nice. And yeah, I know, you guys would be like, hey, you should go for your racial ultimates, but it's uh, not nice enough that it's worth pursuing the whole way through. Plus, I think these heroes get access to it without the abilities that you would normally need to level up in order to reach it. So that makes it even better than it ordinarily would be. <laughs> but just starting with it without the pain of trying to develop your character to the point where they have access to it is also a, a big benefit. Anyhow, we're just going to keep hitting him with area attacks here. Man, the lucky hits are so nice. And I think that'll do it. I don't need to run away from them any longer. I can just walk up and slaughter them, so... Well done, sprites. Well done. Okay. Anything in this town? There's if we buy it. And that's probably what we're going to need to do. She's a pretty high level wasp form. I can probably make something happen with her. Alright, same deal. I actually think this one will be a little easier, but we'll find out. Well, I think this one will be much easier, actually. These don't... yeah, no retaliation. Okay. Wait. Come on, now. Oh, I can imbue Arrow with Wasp Swarm. All right. Although I hesitate because it's going to screw the initiative up. 
Because she does have it at expert level, I believe. Um. Yeah. Oh, I should probably, like, move. But where? It looks like here is my best bet, because then I can actually get away. Or can I? The answer to that is yes. However... No, I don't kill enough of them. Okay. That's unfortunate. So, let's just take one of them out. No big deal. And now... Yeah, I get two moves before this guy. So we'll take him out ourselves and shoot the other one to death with wasp swarms. Probably unnecessary mana usage, but it's not like it'll work against the skeletons. Is that all the ore that's there? Okay, and then Findin. Ooh, do I get... Nope. <laughs> Findin has the dragon. And the dragon is actually a very useful thing to have in the stack right now. Because, I, yes, I have tactics. I can cross the field immediately, I think. And I don't think the skeletons are going to be able to kill them, so... Yeah. I don't think I even need to use magic here. Let's just get rid of one stack. Owned. And that should be the battle. Yeah, alright. So that's handy. And it looks like I could probably fight my way through. I'll want to consider. And I think a throng of master gremlins is going to be the same concept. Much as I would like to deploy my shooters, I'm not going to. Oh, I can't reach. Although I can if I inch up. How much damage do they do? <laughs> not very much after first aid tent. <laughs> yeah, even lucky hits. Boosted lucky hits. I might not have uh, nature's luck, but when I proc luck, it still hurts a lot. Horde of Spectres. This shouldn't be very hard either. Yeah, no, not so much. I'll we'll actually capture this mine this turn. Can I get over this way? Yeah, okay, so we're connected here. Obelisk, huh? Cerberus. I don't know about that. How am I doing on levels? I'm only level 28. A throng of the Cerberus. But they are guarding nice treasure. See, I don't think... Well, actually, I probably can with the dragon. But I'll find out next turn. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Obstructions. Alright. I've built in both towns. So... That's set up. And now we're just going to need to power creep. Or at least whatever approximation of that I can manage. You do want to be somewhat fast out of the gates in this game. It helps. Come on. Or did I visit it? Oh, okay, I visited it. Horde of Ghosts. I can't wasps form them, so... 
My spell power kind of blows, but crystal's a really important resource to me. Maybe I should have cleared that with Fendon. Well, she has access to Town Portal, at least. Yeah, I feel like I need to push the offensive with Fendon. I don't want to spend too much time wondering about killing these neutrals. This might have been a bad idea. Brought to you by the Captain of Obvious. It's at least worth considering the possibility that it was a bad idea. And I'm going to try and minimize the possibility that they cross the field and one-shot my dragons. I don't think it matters. They're going to attack my dragons no matter what. And I don't want to run my other guys forward because they'll just attack them and kill them and that would be pointless. Alright. Oop, nope, not stone spikes. I need to do a little better than that. That kills a lot of them. Oh, this one wipes out an entire stack. Although, I think killing 66 is still a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, now it's time to go a little bit crazy with this. Whee! Interesting. If I run, the 37 can't hit me. And they will go up here. <laughs> or no, they won't. How am I doing on health? Not too bad. Actually, 288. I don't have the Evercold Icicle anymore, so this is actually stronger. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. There we go. Yeah, I didn't need to lose this fight. What the heck with that? You need to come close to losing this fight. <laughs> Stupid computer throwing things to their deaths. <sighs> Needs to learn how to fight for me. I think I should collect some of this. I need money to build my towns up. Movement's precious too, but... Tiervasha, maybe? Oh, I might as well grab this. Oh, wait, is there... Yeah. Now is not the time to be bothering with... experience. We'll fight. Oh, it's him that knows that. And I can get by... Ooh, what will the witch hunt teach me? Oh, okay. He's not going to be like my forward pro mode hero or anything, so that's fine. Ring of Vitality. That would be pretty useful to have. Iron Golems. Okay. So I picked up some gold. That's going to help our cause. Yeah, let's get some Hunter's Cabins. Wow, I don't have them in either city. And that's uh, going to be a little expensive on the gold, for sure. Come on. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to need to clear that crystal mine. I want to get all the mines. <laughs> I 
I also want to try and bust... Ah, oh, 40 of them, though? I think it might be hard to bust the garrison with 40 of them. Because, like, I can run circles around zombies all day. But 40 of those guys, probably not. Maybe I'll bust that week, too. Because at that point, I might have enough units to pull it off. So Grim Raiders are... I need to clear this. <laughs> you know, the other stuff my heroes can eventually pick up with whatever, but the mines I need to grab. Idiot succubus. Finden can handle the shooters if I get bigger numbers. Imperial griffins scare me for obvious reasons. And while the Ring of Vitality is very nice, I probably don't need it until I get into the really big fights. And I can just run from anything that isn't, uh, or anything that would be a big fight until I'm ready for it, unless they just come and attack me. Which could happen, admittedly. Oh, well, here. One. There we go. And this is probably going to be a fodder battle. Actually, because this is going to be a fodder battle, maybe I don't want to bring both. This is one of those rare opportunities where I can actually just throw non-fodder troops aside. So, we'll just do this. And you go back to there. Okay. Take two. Preferably attacking with Finden. I am recording, right? Yeah, okay. Every once in a while, I get nervous. I'm sure most people who have done videos have had that happen to them at least once where they thought they were recording, it turns out they weren't recording, and that's a pretty sour experience, not gonna lie. And I don't even need them on the field, I don't think. Actually, I really don't want the Grim Raiders killing them if I can help it, so we'll just start off with this. Yeah, they can't cross the field in one turn like that. At least, uh, not to get my dragons. <laughs> oh, if only because of the obstructions. Still. Anything works. Interesting. I can probably, uh, set them ablaze. And that's probably as good as any other tactic I can manage, so we'll do it. Ah, oh, come on. Whoops. Ah, uh, I can't get full damage. But killing three of them is just not as good. Let's do this, because I get a bonus to it, at least. Yeah. Now, will they be able to kill a dragon? The answer to that is... Possibly yes. I'm actually going to just fortify. Really? So how did I manage not to lose one earlier? That's what I want to know. Okay. If I... If I nuke these guys and these guys and kill them, the seven will be able to run up and probably hit my master hunters. If I leave the three alive, the three will uh, hit my master hunters and I'll need to kill them with something else. Oh, I won't kill them outright anyway. But I will do a lot of damage. Hmm. There we go. That is unfortunate. Huh. 
How did the computer not lose the dragon? Or did it not lose the dragon? I might have, uh, misgaged that. I can always remove the dragon and just fight with fodder. With an extra fodder slot. Or I can fight with the dragon because I'm too lazy. So I'll just do this. In fact, I'll just leave the sprites as they are, or pixies, or whatever. We'll just roll with this. It's fine. They can reach me this round. Yeah, I'll just get out of the way. Because the, the pixies will force them to chew through a turn or so, and that's helpful. Yep. Get some luck. And since they're positioned so nicely, I'll hit them with some meteor showering. Although, I could imbue arrow. It's certainly tempting. I don't get full damage on anything still. So, I'll just do that. Alright, just stay pat. Ow. Yeah. Nine. Them. But we'll kill some down. And yeah, get rid of them. <laughs> Got a traffic jam here. Which one of these guys is moving first? Right there. Yeah, get wrecked. Much better. <laughs> it's a bit of a fiasco, but um, here. Take some troops back. And Talinar, you can grab all this. That should help. The final thing is a gem mine, but... I think I'll have trouble with that. Now, I already have leadership, yes? Yeah. And I don't think the Witch Hut would teach me a sub-skill. It might. Let's find out. There we go, got some diplomacy. That could potentially be very helpful on this map. And yeah, I think I, I have to go after the assassins here. I'm not excited about it, but... Is that necessary? It probably is. Okay, we don't need dragons for this fight. They're not going to do anything but get poisoned and then die because they are poisoned. So we're gonna pull them. We're gonna try and get the sprites into the front line action here. Split these guys up and charge. So I'd rather keep my shooters alive if possible. Oh, I can actually do some damage. Not a whole lot, though. Yeah, my sprites just can't get across the field without speed or something. Where's Wingall when you need him? Alright, well, in this case, I think an implosion is merited. Jeez, that hurts. And I have a good chance of killing them. Didn't quite manage it, but good enough, I think, because now I can just kill them off with a spell. Well, I lost more less than I uh, would have otherwise. Can you get that? No. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, kind of being blocked, huh? Priests are problematic. I can handle Minotaurs, no problem. Yeah, I'm going to spin Finden around, spin to win, and try and grab those crystal. And there goes my lumber. Unicorns, huh? I think I want more shooters, though. What do I need for this? Same thing I need for everything. Wood. I need wood. Somebody pass the wood. One thing I could do is grab Finden's troops and go over and slaughter the ghosts. Oh no, because she doesn't have the spells. See, even without Imbue Arrow and Rain of Arrows, Finden can still lay down a hurting because he does have all the destructive spells and they hurt with his stats. That'll help me out with the wood. We can just get rid of the conscripts. Don't even need anything here. So yeah, treasure chests, nice, but not critical. Let's just throw some troops on to fend in, and then we will move from there. Oh. Never mind, she is blade dancer to his war dancers. Ninety ghosts. I think that's a battle for dragon camping, most likely. Get a bit more lumber. Actually, I missed some lumber over here, and I don't have a lot else I can do for the moment, so I'll just go with that. It's a heck of a thing to use my crystal on. <laughs> Having more sprites would be handy. And so would a marketplace, ultimately. <laughs> we can get more gems that way, too. Aw, oh, man, I'm even strapped for ore. Yowza. First aid tent can buy other war machines at triple price. Not really what I'm looking for right now. The words triple price, not very appealing to me. The, the, the sprites just don't do enough right now. <laughs> My hero is so high level that just running around pixies is close. I mean, the wasp swarms are nice. And that's just expensive. Well, I will be picking up a crystal mine, so I should build this. I should keep my town progression going. In fact, I can pick up the loose crystal and have her deal with the mine and loose wood afterwards. Alright. The other thing I could do is shuttle creatures. Like, I can bring on d additional creatures, is what I'm getting at. And the way I can do that is by shuttling creatures into the closer town and then summoning them. Probably won't be able to bring along my lower tier stuff that way too easily. But Finden does have a fair amount of uh, mana in his pool, so I can bring along quite a bit, potentially. Wow, the computer actually handled that. Alright. So that's that. Still doing okay on mana. Yeah, go kill the succubus and we'll have all our mines. I'll worry about other things later. When I can kill them with like one week's worth of troops. Wouldn't it be bad to get rid of these vampires and see what's going on. I'm probably intended to do that. Alright, let's see what we can build. 
I'm not going to be able to field Master Hunters in any quantity in the near future. Well, it's not an expensive building, at least, and it will keep my progression going. And I need that right now. <laughs> it looks like I need a big infusion of wood and ore and such, though. And I don't see it, so next round might be an interesting one. I didn't take the most efficient pathing path here. I guess I could have been a little worse. And I can probably get away with it just because I have logistics. But it's still probably better to move a bit more efficiently. Magic defense boots. <laughs> you can probably kill all those by, like, touching them. Alright, here's the case where I probably want to leave my shooters in. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. I'll try and sack these. I'll just run everything up and see if I can get them to target that instead. There we go. And then I'll wait until the sprites are adjacent. Or the dragons. How am I doing on health there? Alright, now I can shoot them. Whee! Well, at this point, I don't think it's necessary to cast spells. Can she walk around and, like, get a retaliation? Oh no, I don't want to let them survive, so that's no-go. And we'll just shoot. You can't retaliate. Yeah. <laughs> Normally you would retaliate, but you cannot. Preserving some shooters. It's handy. <sighs> I'm not sure what would ordinarily allow us to bust that really super early. Um, maybe triple imbued ballista could do it. You could just put a bunch of fodder out and run around. And the triple imbued ballista with implosions would take out the whites or whatever and then the vampires and the zombies would never catch pixies anyway. So that's one approach you could take I suppose. Now that I have mines Maybe I do just want to run around collecting stuff a little bit here. Because I don't see myself successfully fighting my way through some of this. Oh wait, what do I have? I don't have a lot of fodder left and we're nearing the end of the week. Can I recruit additional fodder? It's kind of a reach to use those guys as fodder. Stone ring. The problem with building a stone ring is it in, it blocks me from building a castle, and yet it's still probably worth my time. Okay. Another thing. Yep. Build the city hall for sure. And yeah, actually, let's try and get as much progression as we can. I think it's worth taking some small losses if I can get more progression. So we're just going to do that. I can probably handle the Dijin battle through basic blocking strategies on big creatures. At least let's hope I can handle it. Oh wait, no, I want them on the field. And they're full numbers. It's these guys that need to be split. Bring them out too. The dragons will probably die if I let them out. And they're not going to do a lot of damage here.
Sure, throw a wasp swarm on them. And I don't think I can shower all of them, can I? Oh, I can. Well, then it's easily my strongest spell. Just because it's spreading damage across three enemies. So, let's warding arrow them back a little bit. Nope, didn't do anything. <laughs> Yay, I can get a kill. Now I can uh, knock them out of their outrights, maybe. Nope, not quite. Dead. Nope. Yeah, I was gonna say. Come on, we can take that. Now go in there and bring us more. More, more, more. <laughs> Do I have a time limit on this map? Fill Tiro's will, save the world from the danger that Isabel potentially carries. However, Nikolai and his army are standing in his way. Yeah, I have to destroy Nikolai. There's, that's it. They're not giving me a time limit. I mean, there's a functional time limit in that the enemy can run away, but that's just a functional one. Alright, get some crystal. Never have too much of that with this faction. And do some magical resistance. That could be useful. It typically is consistently useful. And I guess suppose we can off lots of priests or kill some iron golems for wood and gold. Let's kill some iron golems for fun and profit and wood and gold. And we can build stuff, so let's do it. Ooh, I can actually uh, double down on the unicorns. Quite handy. And sure, let's increase our income too. Now I might have enough oomph from shooters to uh, actually lay a beat down with Finden here. And maybe week three I'll jump the garrison and take some more towns. I think you would need a specific setup to bust that garrison week one. Can be done! I'm certain of it. If you have the right setup, I would not doubt for a moment that you can do that. Oh, you were not... Well, that's not very smooth. Okay, we definitely want shooters. Unicorns along are handy. And I'm actually not going to use Blade Dancers as much right now. I will bring them along later. So you can assist there, and you can't do much of anything for the moment, so... Oh. Probably don't want to delay getting the hunters. I can do that with my other hero, though. Well, these guys are freebies. Pick them up. Yeah, okay. And hey, I can get more ore for next week. I probably should have picked up that loose ore anyway. <laughs> it just makes me nervous. You can't even see a thing that Teal is doing. <laughs> Alright. Whoops. Let's see here. You can reach... Or close enough. Come on now. Yeah, so we'll get out of here. Donate these across to. We're actually here. You, we can upgrade those and use them later. I definitely want my shooters along for this ride. Maybe them too. And the rest can be done with fodder. I think that's doable, then. 
Let's test it. Or actually, no, let's recruit more troops too. In which case, we'll need to cast that. I'm not sure where I'm closer. Alright, definitely. them in and them. Now let's go. Did I bring the druids along? Oh, I don't have access to druids in this town. Oh, well, okay. Let's go. Nice. I don't have to micromanage it. And the rest can be picked up by somebody else. Speaking of being picked up, we go get some shooters. Yeah, I think by the start of next week I can easily have not only cleared everything here, but built up my towns a lot. Because this stuff is starting to look a little bit more doable too now that I have more shooters. Although I am hurting for money. That's because I recruited creatures this week though. Once I'm done with that, I can build up towns a bit better again. Hurting for ore, although I'm going to pick up that loose piece. I'm surprised I'm not woodlocked. I guess it's because I have two sawmills. Alright viewers, I'm going to stop the video off here. I will see you in the next part. The main team signing off.